Hi, I'm Gary Benjamin, meteorologist at the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service. Over the past few days, the Trinidad and Tobago Met Service has been monitoring and tracking a strong tropical wave as it crosses the equatorial Atlantic. On the evening of Friday, the 18th of July, an area of disturbed weather associated with this wave was flagged for potential cyclonic development. This area is at this time being given a 20% chance for further cyclonic development within the next two to seven days. The Trinidad and Tobago Met Service has since issued an official statement on this system, which is presently located approximately 700 miles to the east southeast of the Lesser Antilles and is moving west northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. In a couple of days, conditions are forecast to become less favorable for further development. This is the first disturbance in our area of interest for the 2025 wet and hurricane seasons. And although the chance for further development is low, for as long as this chance remains, however low, it is important that we continue to monitor this system. Whether the system develops further or not, by overnight into early Wednesday morning, the associated weather is expected to cross the northern windward and southern leeward islands. The cloudiness, showers, and medium to high chances for thunderstorm activity. Eventually, by early to mid morning on Wednesday, the associated instability is expected to propagate southward over Tobago, Trinidad, and the southern windward islands with moderate to heavy showers and medium to high chances for thunderstorm activity. Please continue to look at our website, www.metoffice.gov.pt and our social media platforms for the latest day-to-day -day public forecasts and any alerts, warnings, or information. I am Gary Benjamin. As always, be safe and take care.